Welcome to the Beer to Beer headquarters in South West London. My name is William Hymotch, Managing Director. Today we're here to judge Dream Car Competition Week 48, which ran from November the 28th to December the 4th. Before we do that, I'd like to say congratulations to last week's winner, Jack Hart, who won the Audi S3 plus £10,000. And you can see a video of us surprising him both on our website and YouTube channel. I'd now like to introduce Joe Tompkins from Onside Law, who will be overseeing the judging today. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joe Tompkins from Onside Law. I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. First, I can confirm that the competition data has been passed on to our auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I'd now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a car out of the bag to determine their seating position. And our first judge today is Mr. Matthew Ray. Morning. Good morning, my name is Matthew Ray. I'm affiliated in multiple counties across England and a referee from grassroots through the professional academies. Blue car. Our second judge is Mr. Matt Cannon. My name is Matt Cannon, I'm a senior county referee, I referee in the London area, I play football all my life and I last played football yesterday. Orange. Our third judge is Mr Sol Campbell. <coughs> Good morning, my name is Sol Campbell, I've played over 500 times in the Premiership and 73 times for England. Red. Our fourth judge is Mr Trevor Weaver. Morning judge. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver, been refereeing for nearly 30 years now, currently refereeing on the amateur football combination and the Southern Amateur Leagues. Yellow. And our final judge is Peter Giorgio. Hi, I'm Peter Giorgio, I'm an AFA senior futsal and football referee, mentor, tutor and a observer. And it's great. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before coming to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, everyone happy? Okay, Sol, if I could just ask you to explain why you've selected that position. Okay. Two players in shot. Um, I'm using both uh, players' uh, eyes. I feel the blue player is just about to head the ball. The defender, or I think he's a defender, has probably got there too late, and that's why I've looked at his face and the, his body posture. That he's not going to challenge it because he knows the uh, blue player is just about to head the ball. So that's where I put the cross, just above his head. Thanks, so. Okay, Trevor. <clears throat> yes, um, blue player I think is going to win this ball. Um, going by his eye, we've got a pretty good view of his eye there. I've put it more or less just above his head, just above his forehead. And then taking the player in the green shirt, his eye level certainly gives us the height in my opinion. So cross-referencing those two, I've decided the ball will be there. Okay, Peter. Yes, the uh, two players in, in shot. Um, I do believe the one in blue is the one who's going to be uh, winning the ball. Albeit, I think that the, the guy in, in green is actually hindering him um, in regards with his, with his right hand, pulling him round, preventing him actually getting to the ball. And what I have done is also use the, the eyes on the blue and his frown of the forehead. You could argue the case it going over his head, but I think he's in front of him to the left. And of course, reference the centre of the ball uh, with the green uh, eyes, uh, uh, just to give me the height of the ball. Thanks, Peter. Okay, Matt. Yeah, the two players in shot, I, I, I agree with my colleagues. I think the, the guy in blue is going to win the ball. Uh, whether he's just going to flick it on, he's, he's leaning forward slightly. Uh, obviously got a furrowed brow and an open mouth and looking directly at the ball. And uh, the green 24 looks to me like he's sort of backed off a little bit. So he's, uh, I think Sol said, he's, he's sort of backing off a challenge. He's got there a bit late. Uh, and I think he's again looking directly at the ball. And I've cross-referenced the eyes and I've put uh, the cross uh, where I have. Great, thank you. Okay, Matt. Yep, I'm also in agreement um, that this blue player is going to win the ball, um, taking it with a header. I think it's all about um, the direction that he's, that he's looking and the direction the ball's coming in. 
I'd like to have a, another look at his eyes with a magnifying glass. However, I think his eyes are pointing steeper than the angle of his head. Um, so I've gone, I've gone upwards there and I've, I've used the green player to judge the height of the ball, cross-referencing them two views. I've placed the cross where I have done. Thanks, Matt. OK, judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. Right, well, we've got Salisbury marker. One is being covered by Matt's orange. So they are, I've never seen quite as close as that. But if we take the average. Perhaps Peter's Green's. The, 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 the average. These are on the same height as well. So it's going to be straight or not from, that, from behind. Slightly, yours. slightly inclined, I think. It's just slightly, it's just on that, above that second. Well, we think I mean, that, is he flicking it on or is he going to just head it? No, he's flicking well, it on. Well, I've got it, but it's going coming almost past his head. He will get it, but it's so, such a short distance between the Let's have a look at his left and the firm is right, isn't it? Let's have a look at his eyes for the okay. yeah. yeah. angle. <coughs> See, that to me was pretty straight. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Even though he's frowning, he's still. He's not. His eyes are open. He's, yeah. Yeah. He's pretty oh, the fire see, away from that. Sorry. If you, yeah. and then shape of his head, it's really leaning back, isn't he? So don't you think it's further over to the right? Yeah, no, I think, I think if it was, his eyes would be further up, or his head would be further back. Oh, yeah. I think it's comfortably he's going to win that ball. Mm. Are we so happy on. with the. I yeah. think we've all, all got roughly the same height. Yeah, 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 I don't have a problem with the height. So it's I just mean, whether it's, it's that on the top of his head that or... Is, that is still a bit... That might height, yeah. Because if it was at this... Yeah, that to me it's a bit too far if to it, the right. If that was like that... His head bit that's back, not, yeah. his eyes as well. well the fact that you could make a fine glass, it shows it slightly that way, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Rather than directly up. What do you think? I think we've got to look at the green and the blue, though, in, a, in between. What, the, yeah, 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 a little bit over to the left, isn't it? You want to go slightly over to the left? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's slightly to the left. Yeah, and on, on, the same way. on the level of, the, of my yellow, actually, I would have mm. said, makes it equal. Yeah. So if I, I'll be happy with that across there. Yeah. Yeah. Try this a yeah. little bit. That one there. Do you want it any higher? Do you want to go across a bit more on it, no? Are you happy with that? I agree actually with Trevor that we come ever so slightly down as well, aren't we? So, um, yeah, I think it actually. Oh, um, it's, it's actually on oh, we, oh, it's it's right. That's yeah, yeah. about right. See, they're half, you know. Yeah. So, if it's slightly lower from there, which is. Yeah. Which is. Yeah, slightly lower? Yeah, okay. No, I don't think so. Just rebates? I personally wouldn't want it. Yeah, I'll take quite a good, quite a good yeah. average yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 So we should be around about there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, everyone happy? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, the coordinates selected are eight five one four zero nine. That's eight five one four zero nine. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they'll inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Mm -hmm.